Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of C++. Yes, you heard it right. Today we are going to start C++ GUI Graphical User Interface with Visual Studio 2022. In our classes, in our older year, we are doing some black screen G C++ coding, right? It was very boring, but now we can use Visual Studio to create a GUI interface or graphical user interface using C++. How we can do this? Let's get started. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification so that you will not miss my future videos. And if you ended up liking this video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Your comments and suggestions are acceptable and your comments or suggestions always encourage me to post more videos. So please give comment and suggestion. So for today's yes. session, I am going to create a new project of Visual Studio 2022 here. Create project. You need C++ Windows development. If you don't didn't install till now, so you can click on install more tool and feature. In this part, you can see the C++ desktop development. I will let you know. So you can see, I have already checked in that one install C++. If you check this one and you need to check C++ CLI support. Okay, I already installed, so I am not not doing any installation for now. But you need to install this desktop development with C++ and C++ CLI support. Okay, so now I'm going to create a project, and the project will be called CLR. If I type CLR project type, so you can see CLR empty project dot net framework. So I'm going to create dot net framework. Click on next. So here I am giving, let's choose first CPP app or C++ app. Click on create. It is using .NET Framework 4.5 for now. Click on create. It will create a blank solution for us. If you go to Solution Explorer, you can see there is completely blank. So here we will add our first form right click on the project add new item okay we are, our project is done configure the windows desktop mode we need to do one more step here go to the project section go to the properties here go to linker system soft system here you can give windows advanced entry point you can give main okay click on okay so you can see it is added here now right click add new item on the project ui i'm adding a windows form so i'm giving that name as main form dot h in c plus plus it will call the header file or h file so sometime the ui will directly open or sometime it crash so just close the page and try to open the ui from here again yeah the ui is coming right we can run this from here so this is the first time i'm running so it will open me a ui window okay i don't i didn't create a main method so i need to create a main method how i can create a main method you can see in the source file main dot main form dot cpp has been added. Double click. Okay, you need to write this much of line of code. Actually, I'm I'm doing copy paste. I will give in the video description also. Namespace system namespace window dot form. Here our project name. So our project name will be first cpp app. And main main form we created main form. And this is our main method or entry point of the application which we configure in our 
project properties okay so if we do here right click properties linker advanced option entry point main method so that main method we create in our main founder cpp now run the application it will open our gui gui windows guys nowadays it's very easy to create c plus plus software right it's created through c plus plus let's see how we can design something i can select the windows and i can give the background or anything okay i can give maximize box false minimize box false and if you come to toolbox here here there is a label so in the label i am adding something like a con a com a, sorry, contact of form so i am giving full name you can do here font bold okay you can do copy paste full name here i can give that one to email id and i can give mobile number next we can add text box here so i have added a text box here copy paste paste done let's give the name here so this will be our txt name email and txt mobile next we can give a button here so here i am giving two button one is submit button and one is cancel button so here this one is reset i can give the button name as btn reset and this will be as btn submit here we can give submit right now we can small down this now i can do validation also how first i will do clearing this field how we can clear just we need to add listener or event to this button to add listener or event just double click on the tools or control you can see one listener is added here here we can write like this this extend to txt email dot text equal to blank same thing i can do for remaining field txt mobile txt name it will reset my field okay next thing is going to submit button here i can give my validation if this dot txt name dot text so i can write dot trim equal to equal to blank here i can write message box dot so name validation so message box button dot okay message box icon dot error right same thing i can do for else if this will be txt email and this will be txt mobile email id and mobile if everything is entered then it will go to else part and in the else part it will show us a message show as a message or success message so it will be like data 
successfully and here would be success and the icon should be information right now run the application so we have added validation we have added form reset button also now run the application so our form is created so if i adding something here if i click reset it is setting is submitting please enter name please enter email id please enter mobile number to submit successfully right so in this session we can see we we see how to create a windows form using c++ how to add some text box and tools like submit button reset button and how to do validation for if else if and how to do reset in our coming session we are going to see the same form i will not create any pages any any project i am going to add a data grid view i am going to create a crowd operation through sql server so guys please stay tuned tomorrow i am going to create a video to integrate sql server and if you like this session give me a like share this video with your friends thank you very much